Hi, my name is Janine Shaka. I'm a certified John Maxwell speaker, trainer and coach and also a certified Silver Method trainer, that's S-I-L-V-A, um, which is a mind development program. I'm going to share a lesson with you today on a topic that affects absolutely everyone and that is fear. So the wonderful saying of Joseph Campbell, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. We look at our own lives there, we're in a place called here, we want to be in a place called there, which means we need to get different results. Now not only do we need to change what we do to get there, we actually need to change who we are. That might be a big statement, but it's very true. What I mean by that is everything originates with a thought. I'm going to use this stickman diagram which comes from Dr. Thurman Fleet to help illustrate and help you understand the mind, because we know what the brain is, but the mind is a different thing. So let's assume that the, this is the head, this is the body. Now it's not that I draw really badly that the head's so much bigger than the body, it's that the mind controls every behavior of the body. And let's assume that the top half of the mind is the conscious mind and the bottom half is the subconscious mind. Well, it's the conscious mind which is what we use to think, to analyze, to reason, it's also when we are studying and we educate ourselves that we use the conscious mind. The subconscious mind is also called the emotional mind. It's in the subconscious mind that all our beliefs reside and all our habits. Now we can think any thought we want. You can think of an apple tree, if I said think of an apple tree or a yellow banana, you can think and originate any thought you want. Also when we educate ourselves we can fill our minds with a lot of knowledge. Now we can have a lot of knowledge and be highly educated but we may not necessarily get the results we want in our life. Think of a person who's overweight. They have the knowledge, they know what's causing the problem and how to fix it but they don't get the results that they want. Why? Because our behaviors are all driven by the subconscious mind and all our behaviors of course give us our results. How many people do you know that have got a lot of knowledge and education, maybe they've got multiple degrees, but they don't get really very good results? And as I said, it's because of our conditioning. This is our paradigm. This is what drives the behaviors that give us our results. Now when you were a baby your brain looked very much like this. You actually never had a conscious mind because a conscious mind has the ability to accept or reject any idea. The subconscious mind cannot. It only accepts. So when we were a little baby everything that we heard around us from our parents, our primary caregivers, the media, school, TV and so on, just went in to our subconscious mind and created all our beliefs. So that's called the imprint phase between zero and seven. So the truth is, you're not responsible for your conditioning. However, you are responsible for changing it. And we need to change it, all of us. Why? Because we need to improve and grow through life and become better and better as people. And in order for us to change and get different results, we need to change that conditioning. So let's put this conscious mind back, which you developed then in later years in life. And let's just, for the simple term here, cause, call this conditioning of ours X. Let's call this an X conditioning. Okay? Now, as I said, that drives our behaviors. We have X behaviors. That gives us our results. We have X results. Now we can think any thought we want in the conscious mind. What tends to happen 90% of the time is we think thoughts in harmony with our paradigm. The thoughts that we think up here come either from our subconscious paradigm or from our five senses, the outside world, or from another place like let's say intuition, just pops in your head, some idea. But when we think thoughts that are in harmony with our paradigm, it feels comfortable. That's why it's called the comfort zone. 
Now, why is this important? Well, people tend to get the same results over and over and over again. Why? Because they're in a comfort zone. They keep thinking thoughts. They say that 90% of the thoughts you think today are pretty much the same thoughts you thought yesterday. That's pretty scary, don't you think? But you can relate to this, I'm sure. How many people do you know, or maybe it's yourself, that in your life you feel like you're stuck sometimes. You want to earn more money, but you don't know how to get that. You want a better job, but you just get stuck. You don't take the action. Or you think about starting your own business, but nothing really happens. Or you want to reduce weight. Somehow it's going on for months, maybe even years now. You just don't seem to change any behaviors to reduce any weight. Well, that's because as long as an idea is in the conscious mind up here, you'll never act on it. It'll just be an intellectual concept, an idea in the mind. Whenever we need to act on an idea and we're going to, we have to first become emotional about it. What that means is you actually have to impress the idea into the emotional mind or the subconscious mind. So let me just explain this. In our comfort zone, things are the same, we're thinking the same thoughts, we're comfortable. Now what happens generally when we are unhappy or we want change, we want to earn more money, we want to start trading, um, we want to reduce weight, we want to start our own business, whatever it is, we have this idea just pop into our head and let's call this a why idea. It can come from intuition, the universe, God, just in your head, anywhere it just pops in your head, you have this idea. Generally we get a new idea as a result of an adversity or being unhappy in our current condition. So that causes us to know what it is that we don't want and this really gives clarity and births a desire of something that we do want and then let's say it's more money so in your mind pops the idea I want to start doing online trading I want to increase my income that's the idea that I'm going to use well as long as that idea is in the conscious mind as I said we won't act on it what we need to do is we need to impress that idea down here into the subconscious mind now once we impress it in the subconscious mind we are now in what we call an XY vibration. That just means a physical expression of the feeling that you hold. In other words, if you're very happy and joyous and loving, you're in a high state of vibration. If you're very angry and frustrated, you're in a low state of vibration. When we're in an XY vibration, the feeling that we feel is really uncomfortable because we have impress an idea on the subconscious mind that's out of harmony with our paradigm. So the minute we are in an XY vibration, things literally go haywire. All hell starts to break loose. What happens is we start off having in the conscious mind thoughts of doubt, feelings of fear that are expressed through the body as anxiety. And it feels absolutely awful. So what it is, we don't take any action. Because when this happens, there's something here called the terror barrier. And on the other side of the terror barrier is freedom. So, let's just say it's about trading. You thought about it. While you were thinking about it, it was just an intellectual thought. You started to read up about it, do some research, maybe start doing a course, whatever it may be. You start to gain all that education. As I said, education doesn't change your results. Then you become emotional about it. You start to actually see yourself doing it or thinking seriously about doing it now. So maybe you get onto the trading platform, you've seen the charts, you've checked everything, and you're about to place the trade. The minute you're about to take the action, you're going into an XY vibration, you have flooded now with thoughts of doubt, leads to indecision, it creates momentum, now you're feeling the feelings of fear, it goes to the body as anxiety, it feels absolutely awful, just before you act, you hit the terror barrier and you just bounce back into your comfort zone, don't take any action, and this we call bondage. Because it is bondage, it's like being in prison. The only difference is you're the only one you can set yourself free and you can and this is what the lesson is about so what we need to do is we need to know 
how do we crash through this terror barrier into freedom? So, I'll give you my own example. I wanted to leave corporate after 20 years. I could tell anybody I wanted to do that. If you asked me, that's what I wanted to do. I'm just going to clean this up so it's easier to work out. It was an intellectual idea. I really wanted it. I could tell anyone that I wanted it. That was the why idea. But I had a corporate conditioning. I was an employee, had been for 20 years. So as I started to get emotional about this idea, and now think about acting, suddenly I'd get overcome with doubt, fear and anxiety, just about to take the action, bounce back into my comfort zone, think, oh, I'll postpone that for two weeks later or two months later, or I'll do it after Christmas, or I'll do it whenever. And I feel relieved. Why do I feel relieved? Because I'm back in my comfort zone, even though it's where I don't want to be. Somehow it feels familiar. It feels comfortable. Think of a bad marriage. The person can be unhappy in the marriage, but the thought of actually leaving causes so much fear and anxiety that the person just stays, even though they're unhappy. That's what we call the comfort zone. So what happens is now that you've understood this, which is what I call you have a higher level of awareness, because remember choice is always a function of awareness. And really what we're looking for in life is more awareness. That's what growth, it's the first step to growth and change is awareness. So now that you understand this, with understanding, you're now going to, yes, have those feelings of doubt, fear and anxiety, but as they come through, with awareness and understanding, you're going to crash through the terror barrier to the other side into freedom. Now let's look at the stick man over here. Does the X paradigm actually go away? No, it's still there. We still have X behaviors. We're still getting X results. But now that we've gone through the terror barrier, which is an emotional experience when we do something that's scary, we now have impressed a Y on the subconscious mind, taken Y behaviors and got somewhat Y results. The fear doesn't go away. You've still got the X there. Through repetition, doing things again and again and again. Public speaking is a great example. The first time, if you're scared of public speaking, the first time you say a speech, it's terrifying, so much fear. Once you break through the terror barrier and do it, the second time you do a speech, it's a little bit less scary. After doing 10 speeches, it's way less scary. After doing it a hundred or a thousand times, you don't have any fear at all. Why? Because through repetition, why becomes your dominant paradigm, your dominant behavior, and your dominant results. And the X almost kind of disappears. Then this becomes your new comfort zone and when we want to grow and get better from here, we basically start the cycle all over again, and that's growth. Now that you have this understanding, it will better help you prepare yourselves to take the action with the fear. Because my friends, the fear never really goes away. But it's a sign that you're growing and that you really are moving towards the results that you want in your life. And that's why I think this lesson is so helpful. Even with weight loss, when people get on the scale and they see themselves four kilograms lighter at a conscious level, they say, wow, I'm so glad I've reduced four kilos. At the subconscious level, if you haven't changed not only your beliefs about yourself, your habits, but here is also your self-image. Your self-image is, I'm fat. So when you're four kilos lighter, the subconscious mind says, uh-uh, that's not you. That drives your behaviors. You end up eating high calorie foods in the morning. Eventually you say, oh, we may as well do it again this afternoon because you messed up this morning. By the evening, you're sitting on the couch eating ice cream. You've taken behaviors that have changed the results. You've put back on two or three kilos and you've basically bounced back into your comfort zone. And even though you're not happy there with the weight, at least it's familiar. It's comfortable. So we need to make impressions on the subconscious mind more and more and more to impress this why, because when this why is more dominant, it reduces that fear. The best way to do that is through visualization with emotion. 
The Silver Method program that I train deals at the subconscious level and the whole program is done through dynamic meditation where we're in a meditative state we've got good access to the subconscious mind and we use mental rehearsal and visualization with emotion to basically retrain or for a better term reprogram the subconscious mind to give you the results that you want in your life so for yourself use visualization will it really get rid of all the fear i say no i don't think so i'm not an expert i don't have any evidence on this but I've never come to understand that and I've been studying this for more than 10 years. The fear is always there. So on a closing note, the words of my mentor are, do it afraid. You know the fear will be there. Step out, crash through your terror barrier into freedom. It's the only way through fear that you can go to experience what you want, which is freedom. So I hope that's been helpful. If you want any more information, please visit the Silver Method Australia website or my website, jeleneshakerinternational.com. Otherwise, my friends, have a wonderful day and God bless.